How's it going everyone? I am back. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. In this video, I'm going to be talking about DWAC. We have some important updates that I'm going to be talking about that can significantly change the game for DWAC. We also going to be talking about PHUN stock, what to watch out for. And we have some social media companies that are going to be competing with True Social. They're going to be announcing their earnings this upcoming week. We're going to talk about those companies, what to expect, and we're also going to go over some of the cryptos that we talked about on, on our previous videos. We're going to go in detail what to watch out for this upcoming week. So I'm going to cover all this important information in this video. So let's get right into it. Now, the first thing that we're going to be talking about is going to be DWAC stock. Tomorrow is going to be very crucial. We've been talking about this stock for the past few days. And the most important thing to watch out for that we talked about is that we have a lot of people that are expecting the stock to go up on Monday. We have multiple people that we even talked about in our live streams that we did on Friday that they have money that are basically settling on Monday. And right after that settles, they're going to be buying DWAC. So with that amount of buying pressure coming in to this stock, you know, a lot of people are expecting this stock to gap up and to go above $100. And we know there are a lot of people that are also very optimistic that this stock could potentially be going, you know, above $175, it can hit $200, $300 within next week. So the most important thing we need to watch out for, even when if that does not happen, we still have a lot of people that are saying that they're going to be buying and holding this stock just to support what the Trump team is going to be doing. So that is going to be crucial as we move forward. So the important price levels that we're going to be watching out for this company during the market open tomorrow is that if it can stay above the lows that it made on Friday around 85 to 75 dollars right around over here in this area is really important for us and if it can stay above this price point and push above 100 dollars during the pre-market hours that is going to be really good we can have a continuation when the market opens however if that does not work out too that's still going to be okay but the important news that we are going to be talking about that can change the game for dwac is that the introduction of options so tomorrow monday they're going to be introducing options for this company. So far, the only thing that is available for DWAC for people that want to trade it is that they can trade the warrants. But as you can see over here, we are getting different strike prices for this stock introduced in the options chain. So of course, for people that want to buy options, that want to sell options and etc., that is going to be available for this company you know as i mentioned you know, this company is just brand new it was a spac company not a lot of people don't know about it that's why they didn't have any kind of options or anything like that but after the news kind of came out on thursday they're going to be taking trump social media company public that's why it got a lot of attraction when the company you know gets a lot of attraction they have to introduce the options so people can you know buy options you know trade options you know sell options etc to basically hedge or even you know, leverage their money to make a lot of money too. So we definitely keep an eye on it. Another important date that we talked about on yesterday's video is that on Thursday, the CEO specifically said that this company is going to be filing an AK with the SEC on, on that filing. They're going to be talking about in detail what their financial is and what is the deal that they're trying to make with the Trump team. We're going to get a detailed breakdown of the financials and that is going to be fantastic. For people that want to know more about it because so far we don't know a lot of details about what their deal is going to be so on thursday we're going to get more information about that later on we're going to talk about the price prediction for this company so make sure you stay tuned the other stock that we're going to be talking about of course is going to be phun so this company was very very bullish on friday it went up more than a thousand percent but right now we're sitting close to the lows of the day that it made on friday after hours is sitting at six dollars and six sixty three cents, and we have some bullish momentum coming in on DWAC. PHUN also can potentially be trading, you know, to the upside on Monday potential gap up. And this company, as I talked about on my previous videos that I made the last two days, that this company actively worked with the Trump team and the Pence team in 2020. When uh, once they start having issues with Twitter, right? When when Twitter starts to block some of their tweets, when they when they started to fact check some of the tweets that the president was sending out, they decided to come and partner and work with this company, PHUN, 
and they they use their software and their app and if there's a huge issue that they experience with their current truth social uh, media app that they have you know they're, they're experiencing some software license issues that we talked about yesterday if that doesn't go through if they if they can't solve that problem they can turn around and they can come and work with this company because they're familiar with this company they already worked with them in 2020 they've used their apps and etc so this can be an easy way for them to partner and work and potentially develop their website they could potentially even buy them out you know because this is a company that is specifically catered to the, the app and the social media that they like you know that's why they start using it in 2020 so that's why a lot of people were super optimistic and that's why the stock went up more than a thousand percent on friday too so we definitely going to keep an eye on it if the bulls decide to show up tomorrow we might see some potential increase in price a gap up in price so later on i'm going to come back and talk about you know the price prediction for these two companies but of course you know we also need to be watching the other social media companies that are going to be reporting earnings now these are the companies that are going to be directly competing with the truth social trump social media the first one is going to be facebook which is going to be announcing their earnings reports coming and monday after the market close we also have twitter right the main one that they're coming after is going to be twitter it's going to be announcing their earnings report on tuesday after the market close we also have apple and amazon they're going to be announcing their earnings on Thursday after the market closed. So the Trump company, the Trump media is coming after all of these big tech companies like Facebook, Apple, you know, we got Amazon, Twitter. They're coming after all of these companies. So they we definitely need to be watching out what they have to say if they get asked in their earnings call. If they get asked about, okay, what do you think about Trump's new social media company coming after you guys? What, what do you think about that? You know, they might say something that might uh, start up a drama and things like that. So we definitely need to keep an eye on them. But on the short term, when we look at what to expect for Monday, especially for Facebook, Facebook stock started to sell off on the news that, you know, True Social was coming out. And also we had Snapchat earnings that was pretty bad. Unfortunately for Snapchat, the stock went down more than 20% and recovered a little bit. But as you can see, Facebook reacted negatively to that news. You know, it, it, the stock just went up from, it went down from $341 all the way down to $327. Right now, we're sitting at $324 right now. So the expected move for this company as we go into the earnings is that they're expecting a $24 move that can go either up or down. It's sitting at a very critical point when you look at it because it can either break down go all the way to $300 or it can go up back to the price that it was around $340 so it was like a $20 move that we're expecting for earnings we have a very good solid support for uh, for this stock for Facebook stock at around $300 so if it can drop there's there's definitely good support for Facebook stock so we're definitely going to keep an eye on it on Monday after the market close and the other most important thing that we need to be watching out for this upcoming week as i mentioned is that we also have some other cryptos that have been breaking out a lot to the upside so we talked about shiba inu we talked about ethereum we talked about you know a bitcoin on our previous videos last week but shiba inu broke out to the upside so it was looking pretty pretty good it was super bullish last time that we talked about it it was really looking very interesting to break out we had a pretty good support right around over here now right now we're sitting at a very good point of breakout so you don't want to buy the top right now but if it can potentially pull back a little bit this can be a very great opportunity to buy it but it's it's really at all-time highs you know it's close to all-time highs it broke out of that so definitely keep an eye on it you know because usually at the end of the month at the end of the year i mean we have super super bullish activity for the entire crypto market not only for bitcoin but also for all the altcoins you know we're talking about like ethereum we got uh, we got shiba inu dogecoin all of them see a price surge at the end of the year usually that's a that's the bullish season right now so definitely just keep an eye on just watch out for what could potentially happen for shiba inu if it drastically drops you know like 20 30 or 50 percent you know that might be a good time to buy it but the ideal time to buy it was when it was consolidating for a breakout right around over here but we also have you know ethereum we need to be watching out for that is also trading above four thousand dollars which is relatively pretty good it could potentially go above that 
and it stay above that price point. If it stay above four thousand dollars, we might see this can have a continuation move. You know, maybe to four hundred three or four thousand three hundred, four thousand five hundred. So that is going to be a crucial price point levels to watch. But I had a, a pretty nice breakout uh, the past few weeks around uh, the past few days after it broke out of four thousand dollars. It hit around four thousand three hundred seventy seven. Right now, it's pulling back and consolidating. Definitely keep an eye on it for Bitcoin. It also hit $67,000 and right now is sitting at $60,000. So definitely keep an eye on these three cryptocurrencies. But of course, you know, before we leave, I'm going to talk about the price prediction for the two stocks we talked about a lot, which is DWAC and also PHUN. So for a DWAC, the price prediction, the short term price prediction for tomorrow, if we can have huge buying momentum that can come come through that you know trump supporters a lot of people that have been talking about it throughout the weekend of course hopefully they told their friends and their friends told their other friends they we can see a potential pop up above a hundred dollars so let's look at the extended chart for the 10 minute chart for dwac we might see a potential pop above a hundred dollars so that is going to be a very very good point for it to go above a hundred dollars and if we have a continuation move to happen we can potentially see 120 150 if everything goes as planned if the bulls show up to battle right so for phun if phun if, if the same thing kind of happens with the dwac if we have a super bullish activity happening on the price action for dwac we might see another bullish trend happen for phun you might see potential pop above ten dollars. It can potentially, you know, hit to, to retest the hot, you know, the lower highs over here around eleven dollars. You know, so it all depends upon what's gonna happen in pre-market. Tomorrow I'm gonna be going live. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you like the video, turn on your notifications so you get announced when I when I get when I go live. And we will to see the tick by tick exactly what is happening with DWAC. If there's any breaking news coming out, you know, some of the social media earnings that we're going to be watching after market close. So I'm going to go live and we're going to see and dissect everything. So make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bell for you not to miss a single thing about this company. So I'll catch you guys on another video tomorrow. So hope you had a wonderful weekend. You know, just prepare, you know, prepare whatever is going to happen for this stock for this upcoming week. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. Hope you have a wonderful night. Peace.